Hello Algebra 1. Today we're going to start Unit 1, Module 2. So, so far we've been in, in Module 1. So today we're going to start Module 2, and Module 2 is, two is all about the state standard A.CED.A2, and that does stand for something. It stands for Algebra, and then we're going to create equations, and it's the second standard. So, so that we can know what this means, we know what we're going to be doing, we're going to create linear equations to represent relationships between quantities. And then we're also going to graph equations on coordinate axes with labels and scales. Okay, so I want us to do a couple of definitions today. So our first definition is going to be of that word linear. So if we're going to create a linear equation, what does linear mean? So two different ways you can look at linear. First of all, what word is in the word linear? the word line, okay, so a linear equation is going to graph a line, but we don't always graph our equation, so if I'm not going to graph it, I don't need to know it graphs a line, it also is going to be an equation in the form y equals ax plus b. We're just going to use that right now. Okay. So what you need to know are notice. Notice there's no exponents. Notice there's no division. Okay. And that makes it in a linear form. So some parts about our linear form that we're going to talk about. The first one is going to be rate of change. And we will talk more about rate of change, but rate of change, in other words, is the slope. So if you remember talking about slope, it's the slope. Uh, but and really, you can look at rate of change, and uh, it's, it means exactly what it says. It is the rate at which a quantity changes. So, for instance, you know, if you have um, a two liter of Dr. Pepper, right, we could actually figure out the rate of change of the volume of your Dr. Pepper. So as you drink it and the amount of, of uh, soda goes down, we could figure out its rate of change. Okay, so you can do the rate of which any type of quantity changes. And the other thing we want to talk about is starting points. And you caught this kind of in one of your assignments the other day. So a starting point is just, you know, the initial value. And so if we talk about um, the yams in the oven, you know, the, the yam had an initial value of 65 degrees. Or the other day on the flying t-shirts assignment, you were writing stories, and that uh, f of x equals 20x plus 50, that 50 was that starting value. So maybe you had the story, um, you know, you started with $50 in the bank, and then you were adding $20 per week. So we need to know starting values. So let's look at a, an example. And these are all going to be functions. And so you know, instead of writing y equals, we could definitely write uh, f of x. So remember, y equals ax plus b is our linear equation. So we could write it, though, f of x equals ax plus b. Okay. And so let's say our example is f of x equals um, 3x plus 6. And let me give you a story here. So say our story is uh, a tree starts at 6 centimeters and grows three centimeters per day. Okay. 
So that makes the 6 is our starting point. And then our 3 is our rate of change. How much is the height of that tree changing per day? Rate is always a per something, you know, per hour, per minute, per day. All right, I have an example for you to do, and then we will discuss this further in class. Have a good day.